A new study shows that Arctic lakes are vanishing. But here's the weird part. The lakes are getting smaller because it's raining too much. I'm Dan Riskin. Across the Arctic, lakes make up 20 to 40% of the land you see. And with climate change, a lot of researchers were expecting the lakes to get bigger because of all the ice that's melting into them. But researchers poured through millions of pixels of satellite data from across the Arctic and found that over the last two decades, 82% of the Arctic has gotten drier. That's not what they were expecting. You can see their data here. All the areas that are yellow or red have less water in the summer now compared to 20 years ago. Blue regions are wetter than they used to be, and you can see there's not a lot of blue on this map. Here's what seems to be happening. As the air gets warmer, ice melts out of the permafrost. So now you've just got wet soil, but that soil's not saturated. So melting permafrost means that the soil around a lake can act like a sponge to soak up the water. But what about the rain? Well, wet soil erodes a lot more quickly than frozen permafrost does. So with melting permafrost, more rain means more soil ends up going into the lake, filling it with sediment. Arctic lakes are critical habitat for plants and animals, but they're also a source of water for people living in remote northern communities. So this environmental crisis has the potential to very quickly become a humanitarian crisis too. For ctvnews.ca, I'm Dan Riskin.